uh, finally had orders to move up. And our next destination was a group of islands called the New Hebrides. It was called the Spiritual Santo. In other words, the Holy Spirit. Now, the, the main island that that's, and there were several other Hebrides islands, so, but that the Spirit of Santa had a huge uh, naval base, and it was just mind bound when we first got there to see what the military had established there, because it was probably considered an advantageous location and a harbor, and it had a wonderful harbor. Mm -hmm. Now that's the church there at Spirit of Santo, the Catholic Church. And of all things, we were planted in the, the coconut grove. Now all these big mm -hmm. palm trees are coconuts. These buildings are associated with the production of, uh, I think it was called copra, and it was a coconut product. In other words, in other words it was a base for making soap. This, these were, I think, drying sheds of some sort. This might have been, again, the, uh, the sacred building of some sort. That's when we were at the Spirit of Santo, and the uh, Navy had a branch called the Seabees Construction Battalions, and they were equipped with all this machinery. And they came in across the road from us and established their camp. You, they had the big bulldozers, you know, all the equipment. Yeah, it was an amazing operation there, and I'm amazed at how the planters. Uh, grew up for an organization like ours. We were a Corps of Engineers and the topographic unit attached to the 13th Air Force out of And they provided the means for uh, reestablishing the charts and the maps of that, that area called the Mountain Trail. Up to that time, they were dependent on land surveys in order to give you an idea what the terrain was in the island. For the first time, they could fly airplanes over these islands. Now, these planes were equipped with three cameras. One camera photographed straight down, and two side cameras photographed at a 60 degree angle. They had prearranged areas that they would cover. And they would fly their assignments and this camera would automatically keep tripping and taking pictures until they had a certain degree of coverage. And then the pictures were brought back to us. We had a stereo, stereographical or stereo, uh, stereographic uh, viewers that we looked at. And we could look at these photos after they were laid out, laid out in the third dimension. Just if you look, you uh, had the illusion that you were actually seeing 3D. These guys like to have portraits of them. What we did was the guys who well, had wives or girlfriends and they wanted a colored rendition of mm -hmm. that, so that's what the, and you know our price? Five bucks. Officers paid ten bucks. Yeah, that's one of the greeting cards I sent out. But we had it, since we were printers, we could reproduce those. And I was intrigued with the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> now, the uh, natives carved canoes out of trees, but they were very narrow and unstable. So what they used were called outriggers. And 
thing of hanging out there at the side of the North mm-hmm. River to keep the canoe from shipping. When they were recruiting, they wanted people with um, graphic skill. So they had to have people with graphic skill in order to work on the maps. And uh, one, we were, and the others uh, were small and had to be uh, located in places where they couldn't move the mechanical type so that he and I were the specialists. We had no pens about that long. India ink, India ink, yeah. They must have shipped ship loads of India <laughs> and uh, from established information we would label uh, the peninsula, the town, the river, all the geographical uh, features uh, on a map. And that was our special. And that's where uh, Quantum Huts, that was our main production type building. And, uh, it was just amazing. That, I think, was a house of worship for the natives, native temple. And they were far from the scale of the cathedral. I think maybe around Manila. And I was intrigued with what was left of the building. And I can't believe I had the time and the whatever to, to do these Japanese uh, air power artillery. When we got to any places where there were civilized buildings, they were ruined, found out. And I think there was either a See, we, uh, our first adventure in the Philippines was in the island of Leyte, and that's south of Manila, south of the, uh, the main island. I can't believe I did though.